Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Fast Expand and Game Social at i48 and the ESET UK Masters. My name is Chris Ivemi, aka Tetra, and I'm here with one of the best players in Europe, possibly the world right now, and one of the newest additions to Team Liquid. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Snoot. Thank you. Now, is this your first time in the UK for a tournament? Uh, yeah, I believe so. The last time I was in the UK for a competition was back when I was uh, still playing Dance Dance Revolution, the dancing game. <laughs> I didn't know actually know you, you did that. Um, what, what's the scene like in Dance Dance Revolution compared to StarCraft? Um, it's, um, it's not as big on, on a global scale, of course. Um, but when you go to events, it's a bit like the same, you know, it's about the same amount of people and you know each other well. So yeah, when you actually go to an event, it's about the same. More or less fun, would you say? <laughs> It's a bit different, like StarCraft is really serious and yeah, I guess we were kind of serious about the dancing, you know, it was competitions with lots of prizes and stuff back then as well. I think they're about equally fun. Fair enough. And if this series this is your first time in the UK, what do you think of iSeries? What do you think of the whole event and how would you think ESET's done in really setting this up? So what does this compare? Uh, it's definitely of international standard. Like the, the admins are taking great care of us. We have lots of table space. We always have a computer available and they are working quite well. Some minor problems with connecting USB, but once you're up and running, it's really good. So, and there's not too much noise. You know, we're still in a venue where there's a whole LAN party, but because there are, you know, it's not allowed to have speakers here. So the noise level is actually really good for playing here. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like DreamHack, DreamHack Summer and Winter, but a bit more quiet and a bit more peaceful. And yeah, we got, we got things taken care of. The, there's water, there's, you know, if there's anything, we can just ask the admins. So yeah, it's really good. So also in the tournament, you have two of your teammates. You have a Rhett and TLO. Does having the, your teammates here and the extra support, do you think that's helping you play, be, play better, just giving you the encouragement? Absolutely. Um, when I saw their performances yesterday and that all of us got first in the group, you know, that, that was really inspiring for this day. And yeah, it's really nice. I've uh, been the most with uh, TLO. Red arrived a little bit later, but it's so nice to have them here. And we, we support each other and yeah, it's really good. Now you mentioned the groups there. Would you like to explain who you've had to face in the groups, what kind of people you've had to beat and how far you've got into the tournament at this point? Yeah, I had to play Baby Knight for GG and then uh, three players from the BYOC, including Johnny Arico. So I feel at least just from looking at the list of players that Group A was the most difficult group. Uh, the top four players in that group were so, were so evenly matched and I think it could have gone Either way, you know, it says a lot when the players such as 4GG gets eliminated. It says a lot about the competition. And um, you're already out the groups into the bracket. Who have you already had to play and who are you not looking forward to playing in the bracket stage? Um, I was not that confident against Hasuobs, but I managed to beat him anyway. Um, I played him a bit on ladder and his style is very difficult to play against, but I was able to um, hit some really nice timings. I think playing against Hasobs was the match I probably didn't really want to play the most. And now I will have to face Baby Knight and I feel a little bit better about that, but I also know that he's, he's such a good Protoss. He just eliminated TLO, so it's going to be tough. But I think if I play my best, I can win that match as well. And then in the finals, I'll probably have, uh, you know, it's going to be either Johnny Orico, Hero Marine, Rhett or Sting. And I think all of those four players are just um, really difficult to play against as well. Everybody's really evenly matched. Now, this is one of the first tournaments to be on Heart of the Swarm after release. Like, we had one pre-release, but this is one of the first actual release tournaments. How are you finding Heart of Swarm? How are you liking the new units? Um, <laughs> I'm not that experienced in using them, 
especially the swarm host and yeah i don't really haven't been using the viper a lot either but i think it's a lot of fun and uh, it's definitely a lot more enjoyable to play the release game than the beta uh, still a couple of bug issues and things that blizzard really should look into but overall it's um, practicing is a lot more fun than having to play both both wings of liberty and the beta at the same time so yeah i just need more practice to get used to in new units but in general having lots of fun do you think it's, uh, obviously everything's still being figured out, but do you think the new units have affected the current metagame in a good way or a bad way? I think in a good way. You see, you see a lot more uh, diversity in the different matchups. Uh, CVC, unfortunately, has become a lot more stale. There's pretty much just one strategy. But overall, I feel like the game is, there's a lot more different things you can do. So I, I think overall it's an improvement. Now, you've probably gotten a chance to see some of the other UK players play here, excluding all the ones that have managed to get themselves to European events. It's a lot more variety. What do you think of the overall UK skill level that people don't really get to see because the players can't get out of the UK? I think uh, the UK players are actually quite strong um, compared, to, um, compared to my home country, Norway, I think the level might be the same or slight, slightly higher, so yeah, I was actually quite impressed by a lot of the players here. Okay, and I think we've covered all we need to cover, but before we go, is there anyone you'd like to give a shout out to and a thanks to? Uh, shout outs to my teammates, TLO and Rhett, and of course to uh, Team Liquid sponsors, Barracuda, Twitch, Razer and Shiny Things. So yeah, that's about it. All right, well, thank you very much for coming on, Snoot. And if you want to see more interviews like this one, then keep it tuned to youtube.com forward slash fastexpandtv. Thank you very much.